Now here we have the cover for Coloring Manitoulin, and I thought it might be fun to do a little video about our progress thus far. The cover, of course, is much like the original Manitoulin Island coloring book. It's a collage of some of the in images that go inside of the book. Let's look at the... Uh, here's one that I traced, and the original image came from Manitoulin Illustrated. This is the story of the piano when the oxen are pulling the piano up the hill. Yeah, that's when we were coming out of gag. And this one was uh, one from our podcast where I was tracing a page from the Asia. So here's the steamer Asia coming into the shore. This is the first image in our graphic novel of the Asia. And then this is the one that I did. There's a couple videos in this where I'm tracing out the backyard. I keep saying that I really enjoyed this one because it had a lot of nice smooth lines on it. We were thinking maybe later on we'd add a little bit of other detail in the foreground. Yeah, we'll and, have to get something happening. Yeah, make it into a scene. Yeah. Okay, and then here's our house of deer. Yeah, that's the one that um, the Presti, the old Presti house. I did a painting of that years ago, and in the um, sketchbook there's a story I put along with it. I'll show that up. There. Oh, I guess you can't see it, but. Um, I've, maybe I'll show up the page in the video. Yeah. Should I read what it says here for the yeah, story? Yeah. The Prestige Place, Burpee, 1957. I once asked, who boarded up the old Prestige Place? The answer was, I don't know, but I can tell you why. Someone, not from around here, was out hunting. They took a shot at a buck standing in the doorway and missed. The buck bolted away, followed by nine more deer, some flying out the windows. The house was probably boarded up to keep the cattle out, but I kept asking around anyway, just to hear what the deer count would be this time. It always changed, depending on who the storyteller was. That's that pretty good. So this is a little bit of an homage to the story with all the deer in the house. Um, yeah, it's a true story. <laughs> and what else did we do? Okay, here's our fiddler in the back house. Now we talked about him in the... Original sketch. The video, book, yeah, right? where yeah. the uh, original drawing came from. And here we have a boat. This is one ended up on the cover. We haven't yeah. given it a scene yet. But it's one of the tugs that was really indicative. Of, I used it in a picture of the uh, Strawberry Island Lighthouse. Oh, right. That's the one. I remember that yeah. one. I, th yeah. I don't think it made it onto a pocket art, but we thought about using it on a pocket art. It's a really beautiful collage. Here's one that's a bit more fleshed out. So some fishermen. We had talked about maybe redrawing the dock on this one. It seemed a little rough, but otherwise it was coming along nice. Oh, here's the classroom. I just love this one. The looks on the, the students' faces are just priceless. Yeah, we were talking about um, putting the schoolhouse in the background, taking the clock out. I yeah, think. something like that. Give it a bit more of a scene Nice looking clock. Oh. oh, yeah, I might use that somewhere else. Who knows? Okay, and then I, I drew this scene out of the Manitoulin Illustrated, but then I realized I've drawn scenes of two steamers coming into port. So I don't know if that's overkill for one coloring book or not, but this was a steamer coming into Kagawong with the lighthouse and sort yeah, of expanded. Um, we don't know until we get going on it what we need and what we're going to Yeah, need. part of the fun is going to be seeing how these pages evolve from what they are now to what goes into the final book. Oh, this is kind of a neat scene of a guy chopping some wood. He's got a turkey in the foreground there. I yeah, think, this is Thanksgiving, is it not? <laughs> apparently. I think I need to add some more depth to the firewood there. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, the tower, that's a water tower back in there. Oh, so well. I take it this is a, uh, could be a scene from a tourist. A sure, part of a camp or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because they'd use that for their water pressure for the camps. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, this is just a couple scenes. I was doing a shoreline and then we have a bush truck. I don't know where they might end up. Who knows? Oh, here we got one. This one's based on the drawing from a painting you did called The Road to Oz. And I'm not sure if we're going to keep it, but in the foreground, I was starting to sketch in the Corduroy Road, like the uh, Tragically Hip song. Yeah, well, in the in the original picture I did, I put a Corduroy Road. But no way a Corduroy Road would sit there. But it's the road does, so I figured I can <laughs> create a yellow brick road if I wanted to. If, if anything is going to lead to the yellow bricks of Manitoulin and it's a bunch of logs. I would think so. Okay, now here's one that we haven't started drawing yet. I thought maybe we'd like to do ships passing in the night. So we got the Normac and the Norile. Yeah, we got them running into each other there. Yeah. We better not have Yeah, that I have happen. to figure out how to sketch that a little bit better. Here's the logging. We haven't got the log in yet, but traced out the trees and the horses. Those look like some big horses. 
the um, guy with them too. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can shrink them a bit, maybe. Yeah, work on that. Oh, here's some poor schmuck walking across the ice. Thought that might be a fun picture. That was. Um, I did a painting of this, and that was crossing the ice by the uh, Christmas tree lines. Oh right, right. They put the Christmas trees after Christmas across the ice, so you had a path. They've been doing that for a long time. They've been doing it forever, and uh, you need it. Right. Oh, this was from a painting called Mummy, the Birds Are Back? Yeah. I couldn't help the vultures. I don't know if we'll use this one or not, but I had so much fun drawing the vultures that it was uh, hard not to. Oh, that's Sideshow Bob? That's Sideshow Bob. That's a, a painting I did. That's a drawing to mm. the painting. Oh, no, it was a collage. It was a collage. Yeah, I think it was a collage. So that one we still have to sketch out. That's a cag along. Oh, here's a few things we thought maybe we'd do one of some ice huts and some ice fishing. That is classic. Yeah. Up here in the winter, yeah. That is the, the winter that church. That is the social. Yeah, yeah. that is the event. Oh, and a uh, friend in Loader thought maybe that would be something like a uh, uh, scene where we were um, uh, pushing some snow around, something like that. Maybe the old was, days. Yeah, the yeah. old days of uh, plowing out the driveways. Uh, we got a scene. Now that's the is that's a cork house or a net house in the back. That's a net house. That's a net house. That was down at Providence Bay. And we got our and that was an original uh, sketch for a painting I did. All right on it. And oh, we got another scene with some faces in it. This time we got a crowd. That's kind of cool. And oh, some folks watching something. We haven't quite decided what they're going to be watching yet. I think they were originally from the Prov Fair, maybe watching some horse pulling. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. And. Oh, here's when I was tracing out a photograph and maybe do some boats on a beach. We wanted to have some foreground with some rocks or fossils or something in it, maybe. Yeah, they came from the photographic book. I think that's the last one I was working on before Christmas, which was the last time I was actually doing some drawings. Oh, and then we were working on some vehicles. I got a punch bug and a truck and an old car. Can't quite see them all, but I was tracing them out. Maybe do an old car show page, I figured. And Oh, I think that's the last one. I did, doubt we'll use this one, but I wanted to see what it would be like to trace out the... Uh, the memorial there in Little Kurt. It was yeah, that's again another painting I did. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's on our wall at home. Yeah, so. I think so. Really like that. You can see the anchor in the background. And the embossed image was an interesting way to bring out the lines so you could see what to trace in yeah, the photograph. Yeah, that was just fun to play with. Yeah, it kind of worked. And basically that's it. That's your tour coloring, Manitoulin. We've got to so far. Yeah.